Yeah, we got files everywhere. I don't put a fish out. Probably would eat the bait. Huh. All right, what's going on, guys? Today is another beautiful day here in South Florida. We got up early today, caught some bait. We got a bunch of live sardines with us. And we just started fishing. We've got a cloud covering us right now, so we've got a little bit of uh, cover from the sun. It's going to be one hot day today. And uh, we decided to get out early and get the morning bite. Just got our first bite, sent out our first our first sardine of the day, and instantly hooked up. All right, let's get them up. Let's at least keep one. All right, I got our first king on. There's gonna be a lot of kings today. I'm not gonna really keep, not keep too many of them, but one or two will be fine. Got this little gap. If we lose him, I don't really care. He's not that. He's not too big. That's one. Good morning, everyone. A lot of kingfish around Boyden these days, a lot of sardines, and as, you, as we always tell you guys, you got to match the hatch. So we caught the sardines, and uh, I got Darcy and uh, Frank both hooked up on presumably kings, and uh, it's going to probably be like this quite a bit. We're, gonna try, we're trying to weed through the kings to get us some tuna or some other good fish we like to eat. We'll see what happens. How you doing over there, Sizzle? Smoking it. Smoking it, she says. Smoking it. Double hookup. All we need is help with his weight. Frank, uh, I'm coming, Frank. All right, Frank's got a bonita. Frank's got a bonita. Come over here. Woohoo! We're gonna keep that for a little short bait. What do you got, Sizzle? Bonita. Actually, I'm gonna throw him back. We are going to be making a move. We have these live sardines, and although we're catching fish, the fish we're catching is more sh like shark bait. And this is a, a this is a, this fish, but in particular, is a bonita, and it's a member of the tuna family. It's actually a false albacore, and uh, this is a big one we've got on the line here. But uh, he's going to be good for shark bait, also good for chunking up and using on the bottom. So I'm going to try to gaff him right now, but Frank's got him on the line, so just bring your rod into the boat, and then I can get him. There we go. All right. He's in the boat. That's all that matters. We're not eating this guy, so he is just bait, but he is a tank. All right, we got a tank in the boat. This is a solid bonita. They get bigger than this too, but this is a solid fish, and these guys will wear you out if you catch them all day long. So we're going to make a move and get out of their area. All right, I just came over here to tell you guys how we were fishing today, and Darcy hooked up Whoa. with a fish. Woo, where that fish sizzle? Whoa, Whoa come on. Really digging that. Get him up. Nice, we're getting somewhere. Coming to the end of our drift here, and I kind of just stopped using uh, live bait down there because I'm just getting ripped off. A lot of the times, I'm not feeling the bite. They're taking my live bait right off the hook, not feeling it. And so I just started back to using chunks. I'm using some bonita chunks from that big old bonita we just caught. This is a queen trigger. Very gorgeous. Check them out. Instead of a gray trigger fish, it's a queen trigger fish. Cool. Yeah, really pretty. That's why he was fighting so hard. And you can see the mustad hook is right here in the corner of his mouth. We got our bubble blade pliers, and yep. he's away. All right, just to sh we're gonna move our drift right now because a ton of boats right here, and I don't know, not not the greatest bite right here. I'm we're in a, not in my favorite spot, but, and we're at the end of the drift. We're at 100 feet. So if you guys fish down to Palm Beach, there's a ton of sardines around. All right, we're out of Boynton, but the sardines all over the freaking place. We caught sardines this morning. Uh, and and they're keen. There's a ton of kingfish around. They're keen on that. The blackfin. There's a ton of blackfin tuna last week. Uh, I'm not sure if they're around this week. It's only Tuesday, so we'll see what happens. But there's also a ton of bonita have moved in. So uh, there's no wind, as you can tell. So we're not putting up a kite. We don't do the helium thing. Our boat's too small. So uh, basically, we just caught the sardines this morning. You got to get out there. You know, first light uh, before sunrise. All right. And uh, caught a bunch of sardines. We used sabikis. We, didn't, we couldn't really get them with the net for some reason. Uh, so then we got so we have about two dozen or maybe three dozen sardines. So again, we always tell you guys, match the hatch, all right? So that's what the fish out here are eating. Uh, that's the bait that moved in. That's what they're eating. So that's what we got. Uh, and so basically, we're doing two two lines down and and uh, a couple flat lines. And, and Darcy's doing the bottom bite over here. Uh, but basically, we just we got 20 pound outfits. 
Just for instance, Darcy's using a, a Max L Ocean Max reel, the standard uh, 08, great reel. We've been using these Max L's, as you know. Uh, she has braid on that one, but uh, the other rods have 20 pound mono. And then I'm, I'm using a 30 pound Tsunami fluorocarbon leader, just like five foot, like arms span or whatever. And then I'm putting a, a, a little wire trace, which is a short wire, and then a small hook for the sardines. Let me show you. Move up, sweetie pants. little rig like this just a little I think this is a probably a 5-0 mustad hook on a short piece of wire and I just all bright that to the uh, leader and we got those out we're catching a ton of fish um, not the most greatest quality fish but we're gonna go out and uh, and move the drift and, and see what we can do but we're having a ball here's some of the bonitas See, I got see, I got that in a in a in a hex, in a square pattern, and you can throw those chunks out. And I also got a chum bag out, and uh, that's the deal. Oh, look what happened live! Just got something. Not sure what, but we're in the middle of uh, we're like I said, we're ending the drift, so we're coming down to the to the first reef, which is going to be in about 70 feet of water. But there's a lot of little fish there. Holds a lot of life. But you know, a lot of these fish are too short to keep, and I don't want to be handling you know fish that I can't keep, and it's just better to keep them in the water. So we're gonna reset our drift, go out deeper. But we're in an area where there's a lot of guys king fishing. There's a guy hooked up over here on his boat next to me, and um, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. If you want to catch kingfish, you go where the commercial boats are. And you'll catch kingfish. So we're in 100 feet. This fish should be up in a second. Another trigger fish, you can eat these, but they do have to be 12 inches total length. This guy's a little too small, and uh, we're going to go, we're going to move. We're going to catch some bigger fish. What are you doing over here, Sizzle? <laughs> Chunking up Bonita for bait, like I said. We caught him for bait, so that's what I'm doing. So taking little one cube chunks and just throwing them overboard. I'm going to try some, Darcy has dared me to try some bonita, yeah. which I know okay. we, which people eat other places, you know, we don't really eat it in here in South Florida, a lot of other fish is better to eat, it's a member of the tuna family, Yep. sometimes called the little tuna, false albacore, the meat is very dark, Bony, as, you, as you can see, boneheads, right, so but it's fresh, we just caught it, icky, ew, he's crazy. Ryan's pretty hungry too. He has no lunch on the boat today. So actually, what does he have? Bonita. Bonita. <laughs> well, I get hungry. I get bonita. It's actually not bad. You know, just like. What? It doesn't taste like. It doesn't taste like much. It's comparable to other fish. You know, let me tell you. If you just eat fish raw like sashimi, it doesn't really have a lot of taste, right, Frank? Right. Frank eats a lot of sushi. He's half Thai. All right. Now Frank's gonna try it. Now Frank, let me just say, Frank worked for Cisco and he did a lot of work in the mid, in the, not the Middle East, the Far East, East Asia. So he has eaten sushi all over the world, right, Frank? Right. He's like a connoisseur of sushi. I wouldn't call me a connoisseur, but I've had some variety. Can of you speak up? We can't hear you, son, Frank. I said I wouldn't call me a connoisseur, but I have had some variety of different fish. All right, quiet down. <laughs> got, you, got it. Got it. <laughs> all right, let's see, Frank. Let's test. Tell us, give me the taste test. It tastes like. You know, there's not a lot of taste to it, to be honest with you. So I've, I've definitely had a lot worse. <laughs> does it taste like black fin tuna? It does not taste like black fin tuna. Um, I wouldn't be able to place what it tastes like, but it's uh, it's not too bad. Well, it's not like the worst thing you've ever had. No, it's not the worst. All right, thing. All right. No, definitely not the worst thing I've ever had. All right, Darcy's over here catching runners. So we're gonna put that one out. Wreck fishing. Yeah. Darcy's but turn. What I'm doing is. Yeah, Darcy's turn. Uh, no, thank you. It's probably better like that. Everyone's got. Everyone's got to do it. You didn't even cut me a nice piece. All right, hold I this. Mean. Hold this. Yeah, like this. See, that's like the thing right there. That's the. Uh... That's gonna be way better than when I had it. All right. Just taking a bite. Taking a bite's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Chew. 
Oh. You didn't like that? You did worse, right? We, say something. I'm just bugging out because it's a bonita. It's <laughs> like, that's not what you do around here. But I mean, yeah, it didn't taste like much and it, yeah, it really didn't taste like much. But that's okay. At least I tasted bonita now officially. All right. So we're just ending up our drift here. Literally, we're pulling up baits right now so we can reset and we're gonna go do something cool. So we're gonna go on some, do some wreck fishing. But this line just started screaming, the flat line. So we're gonna see what it is here in a minute. But uh, we are pretty shallow, so I kind of have an idea. It's either a nice kingfish or it's a big old bonita. Whoa, swoo, he just took a little last run there. Nope, he's right here. We got a nice king. Should I cut him? Nice king. Woo! Here he is. He's angry. What do you want to do? I'm going to cut him off. All right. Him. We're going to cut this guy. We don't want to eat him. We already have one in the boat, and uh, we're just not big fans of kingfish. Oh. What do you want me to do? What do you mean? I'll, we'll try, I'll try to get him in the boat real quick. And... Careful. Oh. Perfect. Line, line, uh, hook came out, line snapped. Perfect. All right, we are for sure in a summertime fishing pattern now, which means a lot of kings and bonitas and sharks. And uh, because it's so hot, the fish kind of dive down usually around, you know, when the sun gets high, 11 noon, about 11.30 right now. So we're going to change up our tactics. We're not going to beat a dead horse. And we're going to go, uh, we got some sardines. We're going to drop them on a wreck and see what happens. See if the fish are biting on a wreck. We could get some monsters or we could uh, get, get some not big monsters. Well, let's, let's get it. Monsters. What do you think, Frank? Monsters. 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 We are now going to try to do, we're going to switch up our techniques and we're going to go wreck fishing. And we are fishing on the sky cliff, which for those of you who are locals know that it's 200 feet of water out directly out of the Boynton Inlet. Let me show you the rig. We're using a Maxell Ocean Max 16 right here, paired with a custom Barrett rod. Um, pretty awesome rod that was made by Peter Barrett for me. And you can check that out in the description. And then we also have a 16 ounce lead weight right here, which is a ball, which is really good for, for getting down there fast. 32. Oh, sorry, 32 ounces, my bad. And then we got a swivel here that's a sliding swivel, so that way it can move up and down the rig if, whether we catch a fish or not. We got a big old heavy duty swivel here attached with the bead in between the weight and the swivel, so that way the weight doesn't slam onto the swivel. And then we have an 80 pound fluorocarbon leader. The leader is approximately, probably like- 10 foot? Yeah, 10 foot long. And then we just have that to tied directly to a J hook. And you can see that he has um, done it with a Snell knot there. So we got a Snell to a J hook, and that's probably a seven knot Mustad J hook. Sorry, five knot Mustad J hook. So we're gonna stick a big old uh, blue, live blue runner on here, drop it down on the wreck, sure. and uh, see first. if. Oh, never mind. Sardine. I'm wrong with everything. Well, we you want to go up directly up, and you're gonna lose a fish that way. That's how Kevin does it when we wreck fish. Yeah, perfect. Cool, all right, we're gonna try to catch a fish now. Come on. Fish on. Yeah. No, yes, he's there, he's there. Oh yeah, now he knows he's hooked. Strike. Oh, get us off the wreck. Oh. Gone, just like that. All right, this wreck speed is up a little bit. Darcilla lost a big fish. Frank's over here jigging now. This, sometimes these wrecks, you know, they're, it's all business and sometimes it's funny business. Today we're getting a lot of funny business. And we're dropping down live sardines. We had a big runner. So it's not me, it's them. Sizzle just lost her hook in, in the, or got hit, she had a bite and it went in a wreck. Right, Sizzle? Yeah. Yeah, you heard it here. All right, I got banana number one, banana over two over here. Frank's jigging. Frank, faster and shorter. Bam, 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 quick. Let's go. Darcy's got a live sardine down there on, on a mutton rig. And I'm doing some exemplary driving, keeping her on the rig and drifting over. 
the fish, and we have a fish. That's thanks to me. Let's see what you got, Sizzle. Are we off the wreck? We are kind of off. Yeah, we're not even on the wreck. We're in the sand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Please let me land this fish, guys. Oh man, it'll be awesome to get this fish to the boat. Hopefully it's something good. I'll take any fish right now though. We've been fishing the wreck. Wow, this stick is mine. We've been fishing the wreck for like almost an hour now with live baits, dropping it down on heavy gear. And I was like, you know what? I need to try my mutton setup. So I am using 20, oh, he's gone. Uh, just lost the fish. He's using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, so you get a bite and sometimes you lose the fish. Probably using a little heavier down there. All right, we're wrapping up our fishing trip. We tried, we tried real hard, especially bottom fishing. And my bait I just used on the bottom, which I basically just decided to switch from my, my light setup with the little Max L rail to this heavy setup to see if I could get a good snapper with the 30 pound fluorocarbon leader I was using and my bait just came back, so. The bite is just off, but you know, that's why it's fishing. At least we tried, at least we're out here. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. The seas are under two feet. Winds are super light. It's just perfect for this time of the year for us. So I really can't complain. Beautiful day on the water, um, but no fish. I mean, we got fish, but not enough fish yeah, for my couple. liking. <laughs> it never is, right? We yeah. got a couple kingfish, bonitas, that queen trigger, that pretty one. Yeah. A couple good bites on the wreck and uh, yep. wrapping it up kind of early. Kind of shocked we didn't get any black fins. We caught a whole bunch and of course we weren't filming when we did catch those. But you know, that's why it's fishing. So maybe we'll get a black fin this week hopefully and show you yeah, guys. Yeah, we're planning on doing a lot of fishing. Love to show you guys. We're planning on going out tomorrow. We have so. a kayak trip planned for uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, well this is going to be... Stuff. You're getting them confused saying that. This video is going to be <laughs> out way after that. I give you guys, I give, I give you guys credit. You guys won't get confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a thing or two with the tips and stuff I provided. But uh, we'll be back with another adventure, hopefully with some bigger and better fish. But thank you for watching. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.